Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Aga. Uh, it's Tuesday, uh, the 12th. Um, well, and welcome to my newest episode of Yaga's Pickup. Uh, game Pickup. Uh, first, I want to get this out of the way because it's a small, minor issue. Um, when I mean minor, I mean I have a couple ideas on how I can uh, fix this issue, but I want to get this out of the way. Okay, so, so here's the deal. As you guys know, I ordered the uh, Dazzle HD Plus, right? Sorry, I'm actually trying to get the box. So, you know, yesterday I was watching a range game, um, and um, something came in the mail. It said Illinois. I immediately knew what it was. Um, I'm actually opening the box that it came with, and look what came. That's right, baby. My Dazzle. So, I was excited. After the range game was over, I went to my room. I was, uh... Figured I started um, uninstalling Magix and Movie Edit Pro uh, 15. I ended up downloading. I went to put the disc in there. <sighs> That's when the real minor issue happened. Apparently, the DVD, um, not the DVD drive, apparently, my drive could not read the disc nor knew it even was existed in the disc drive. Apparently, the Studio, X, the Studio XD disc right here. You see what it says right there? DVD-ROM. That's the problem. My drive is not a DVD drive. It's a CD-RW drive. So I'm thinking when I didn't, when it didn't happen, it didn't like pop up say, "Welcome to Studio HD installation thing." After a couple tries, I mainly saw the DVD thing. I'm like, "Fuck." So I realized that. I might not, I might actually need a DVD drive in order to use this program in the Dazzle. But, here's my few ideas I have. Now, I don't know why you require a DVD drive as if I actually am going to make DVDs on it. It just make, doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. So, here's a couple ideas. First, um, my sister's old desktop computer which is actually a custom built one she bought on eBay a couple years back has a DVD drive in it and as far as I know the specs I believe is a little m much better than mine I mean it, it has to be it has to be better RAM, it's got to be a better processor a lot bigger HDD hard drive um, the only difference is or the only problem is with this however um, the operating system is now Linux or Linux distro Maybe I'm Ubuntu. I don't know what you want to fucking call that shit. Um, I don't. I don't believe that the Dazzle is actually um, um, compatible with the Linux distro. So that's that's a problem right there. That's the thing. I'm like, fuck. What am I gonna have to do? Now, here's a couple other methods I could do. One, I could find a way to torrent. Um, an actual Windows operating system, a legal one, because that's the problem. That guy computer originally had a Windows operating system, Windows XP, but apparently when she brought the the thing to get fixed, uh, some asshole who's uh, fixing the computer and decides to say, you know what, I'm going to rat this, my sister out. I'm going to rat this girl out. She has a fake operating system, a non-legal one, and she got fucked. So she had to buy a Linux disk in order to install a legal copy of an operating system, which... Which is kind of bullshit because she didn't know what the hell she was doing most of the time. I mean, eventually she got the laptop now. That's way better than what she has. It's HD laptop, HD screen. It's just way, way better. Bigger hard drive. I think it's 500 gigabytes of hard drive space. Um, yeah, it's crazy. So she doesn't want that thing anymore. She said, I can use it or my mom can use it. So my mom originally was going to use it. But apparently since this situation happened, I'm thinking if I can just... <clears throat> download a legal copy of a Windows disk or something, maybe I can, you know, inst install on that, and maybe I can start using that computer instead of this one. Now, here's the other thing I thought of. Same method as before, but instead of actually using that computer, I can just download the actual installation executable file from the torrent onto this computer so I can actually use the pro um, program on this. I don't know if that's going to have any actual effect on the, the drive itself, because I don't think it would, but for right now, the drive, the CD is not loading on my computer, which sucks, but hey, you know what? 
That's the least of my issues for now. I think I can work around them. Um, I know I've had zero in the past to give me like um, to give me some um, video edit, or he decided to give it to, to give it to me or some shit. So if zero, if you have an actual executable file of a Windows, or if you can actually find the actual executable file for that uh, Studio HD 14 um, version, um, that'd be awesome. It's just an idea I'm trying to think of. Because right now my computer doesn't have Magix Movie Editor Pro. So I got rid of that. And I have the Dazzle. I'm still looking around with the um, cables. I am actually I actually did just order um, a PS3, PS2, whatever, S-Video thing. I don't know if the quality is going to be any different. I don't know if the look changes anything. I don't think it does. But I just ordered it off eBay. It's coming from Hong Kong. Who knows when that's going to come. It may come for four weeks. It may come um, um, next week. Who knows. So that's basically the update here. I have, I pretty much have all the audio, the composite cables I need. Like the, the red, the audio left, audio right, the red and white um, cables. I pretty much have that already. I have all that. I just need to get like um, two single S-Video uh, mail to mail things and that's it I, yeah so that's pretty much uh, the issue right now in terms of uh, the dazzle thing it's it's a minor issue I can work around it I think um, whatever zero whatever you think uh, that that will be great but right now I got the dazzle I'm still waiting for your uh, package which may come tomorrow I'm surprised it didn't come today but uh, hey some things you have to wait a while so but enough about that this is a minor issue um, anyone who would Anyone who can comment, it doesn't have to be zero, but anyone who knows uh, like how to connect stuff and just who knows electronics. I mean, if you want to comment on this video and give me some of your input, that's great. I mean, I'll definitely appreciate it. So, let's get on to the new game pickups like I was telling you I was going to get. Ugh. Medal of Honor. Limited edition. And if you guys get this, it doesn't have to be the PS3. This is actually not... Um, PS3 exclusive, but if you get the limited edition of the 360 or the PS3 one, you get a beta invitation included to the Battlefield 3, which will be which will be coming to PC, 360, and PS3. That's right, Battlefield 3. So bad company, just a regular old school Battlefield 3. Um, is going to be coming to consoles, including PCs. Uh, I opened this up all off screen. There was a code for the tier one thing just double checking the time make sure it's correct it is um i already took the code out and put it away just so you know it's like oh my god you showed your code oh no this is what it looks like it's standard co there's no color on the manual by the way i just figured i'd spare you the colorless um shit <sighs> In terms of, now, if you guys haven't got this game yet, I know Zero, I don't think he's going to get this game. Or if he is, he's just probably not going to get it for the 360, just because the 360 has a better online um, service. Um, the Medal of Honor Frontlines includes, it's not a separate disc. I'm actually surprised. Apparently on the back, it says that the, the Medal of Honor's Frontline is a digitally remastered version that's already included on the disc. You just have to install on the HDD. I don't know how much uh, hard drive space is going to take up. I'm thinking it's a PS2 game. It has to be at least, what, 4 gigabytes, you, you would think? So, that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, so that's uh, basically the only game I picked up today. Um, I, the, I was thinking, like I told you guys, I was getting Borderlands Game of the Year, but like I said, um, I was talking to Zero. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to hold off on that. Reason why is because uh, the game's always going to be there. I can always go to my local uh, store, like it's like, like a 15 minute walk from here, and I can just pick it up. But uh, like next month or something. Because I really want to do a playthrough on that. Blind. Like I just started and I just want to do a playthrough. I mean, I've already seen the story. But I don't play games typically, or at least that type of game for the story. RPGs is more about the roaming and the killing, especially for a first person shooter. Um, like Borderlands, which is like a first person shooter role playing game. So I'm, I'm going to probably end up holding that off until November. Um, I was thinking about getting another game today, but I just didn't have the money. And I was looking, at, I was looking at other stuff like cables, and I was, I was, little, 
nah, what the hell was I trying to say? The word I'm trying to figure out. Um, I was worried that the the price was gonna end up being more than twenty bucks because the PS supposedly the PS3 S video was going for twenty bucks, I think, online on Amazon or something. I don't know, but well, maybe that was just the component one, not the. Uh, it's probably the same shit, but anyway, that's pretty much the issue. So I didn't really pick up another game. Um, next week, though, I'm toying with the idea of picking up Vanquish. Um, it looks like a crazy game. Uh, it looks pretty good from the trailer I've seen online. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Dark Void, which I haven't played yet, but I'm definitely going to be playing it all, um, on my own. I don't know if I'm going to really be doing a playthrough on that. Since I don't have my Dazzle set up and I don't actually have my mic and this new issue now with the DVD uh, drive and all that, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually do an actual story mode playthrough like I wanted to. I should be able to get everything ready by the time Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 comes out. I'm still definitely doing that. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically all I wanted to say. Just to tell you there's a little mistake that's happening uh, with the DVD situation, the DVD drive. I picked up the game. I'm going to start playing the multiplayer a little bit um, later on today. Um, hopefully it's good. I know I know. I saw a couple of reviews. They said the, the multiplayer sucks. There's small maps and something like Battlefield, Bad Company. Uh, let me just tell you right now, this is Medal of Honor. This is not Bad Company. Bad Company or Battlefield in general was known for the huge, gigantic maps. Medal of Honor, for what I remember, was never about huge, massive maps with vehicle warfare. That's not, not, Medal, that's not Medal of Honor. Um, I'm sure the online component is really fun and addictive, and I think these people are just nitpicking like they always do. Because, hey, these are gamers. Gamers nitpick over the smallest things and take up points, just like fucking reviewers. Metacritic rated the game right now is on 78. I'm pretty sure it's going to get lowered. Um, so far, it's not looking too good for the Metacritic. But you know what? Fuck Metacritic. Fuck reviewers. Pro reviewers. I don't give a shit what you review games. You Every time you review games, it's always lower than what I think it should be at. And you know what? That's the thing. Fuck all those reviewers. That's right. Fuck their IGN. Fuck GameSpot. Or Game... Yeah, GameSpot. I don't want to bash Neo Shiko, but... Then reviews are a little iffy at times. But you know what? Reviews is all, per reviews is all personal, so you know what? I don't know. But all I'm saying is fuck pro reviews. I'm sick and tired of pro reviews. I think reviews are the bane of gaming existence. Be a gamer. Try a game. Rent a game. Buy a game. Do something. Don't fucking look online and try to look at the fucking reviews. Sorry, I'm getting all emotional here and a little cursing here. But that, that just pisses me off. People waste their time looking at the reviews. They're, oh, this is 7... Uh, 77 out of 100. I'm not getting this game. Come on, really? Really? You're not gonna play a game. You're not gonna try it. Rent it. Anyway, that's it. I'm Yager. Thanks for watching this first edition of Yager Game Pickups. Um, uh, next week, to, if I can end up getting vanquished, or maybe I can pick up a random game like maybe Fallout New Vegas instead. Keep an eye on that. Um, Hopefully by a Star Wars Force Unleashed 2, I have everything hooked up, everything ready to go. I have all the, most of the cables. I have my game. Um, I have the like like the cable box. No, not the cable box. What the fuck can you call that? The, the AV S video splitter almost thing. Where yeah, I have something like that. Or the, or the video game selector thing. You can. It's the same shit. You just have to press the buttons and make sure everything's on when you do it. So. Yep, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. It was four, 14 minutes of me talking, but hey, I like to be informative. I like to explain things, and um, I can't wait to get into this multiplayer and test it out. Um, now, the thing with the Dazzle, I just want to say right now, the Dazzle is going to open up big things, not just for video gaming, but I can actually do proper video game reviews. I can, I can take clips from one of my, my games I just played. Small clips, like 15 seconds each, maybe 20 seconds each, and like make a, like a four minute review of the game, that's gonna be awesome. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. And don't forget, rate, like, dislike, and subscribe.